today we will discuss about models of organizational behavior. What is organizational behavior? All the organizations would like to improve their efficiency, efficacy of the working so that they get the outstanding results. Now, most of the companies they are attempting for to achieve their efficiency or efficacy through outsourcing, downsizing, redeployment of personnel and all that. But is it possible to achieve the efficacy or the efficiency of the organization without changing the behavior of the employees? What is organizational behavior? Organizational behavior is nothing but the sum of individual employees behavior. Now, recently we have seen the US elections. The surveys have predicted that Kerry is going to win as a president of uh, US. But the fear factor about the what you call Osama bin Laden or the terrorist attacks, you know, changed the people's behavior and made them to vote for Bush. In fact, the managers are tend to act the way they think. Then some of us might, might like to know why we should know about the organization behavior as such. Change is taking place throughout the society, throughout the economy, throughout the world. Now, from the closed economies, we have moved to the open economies, what we call as LPG, the liberalization, privatization, globalization. Now, because of this LPG factor, an individual producer or individual manufacturer cannot operate you know, in his isolation as such. He has to compete not only with the domestic producers or the domestic entrepreneurs, but also with the outside that the global entrepreneurs as such. The second one is the negative attitude about the employees is gradually being replaced by the positive attitudes about the people. The best example could be that of Infosys, where the employees are treated as a resource. In fact, the significance of the employees and their contribution can be known from Dr. Murthy's words when he says that after 4 o'clock, the net worth of the company is zero. Now, if that is the importance of what you call employees, their behavior you know, plays a very crucial role in the what you call organizational efficiency or the efficacy of the organization. Now, what will happen if we know the organizational behavior as such? Having said that, organizational behavior is nothing but the sum behavior of the employees. Now, let us take one example, how an individual behavior you know, changes. In LNT, one of the welder was giving about 150 burns as his output. The standard output was about 175. But the same employee, when he got a posting in Dubai, to the surprise of his immediate supervisors and managers, was giving about 800 burns. So, what is that inference we can draw from this? It is the behavior of the employees. In fact, the behavior of the employees you know, came to light after the famous what we call as Hawthorne experiments. Hawthorne was a western electric company, wherein despite you know, providing the best working conditions and the best pay packets, still the management felt that there is something you know, lacking on the part of the employees, they are not giving their best. To know the behavior actually, what are the factors which impact their output or their productivity, apart from the working conditions and all that, they have con conducted an experiment called illumination experiment. In simpler words, what they have done is, in a controlled room, they went on improving the illumination, the lighting, and they found that the productivity also went on increasing. After a period, after a point of time, they stopped reducing the illumination or reducing the lighting as such. To their surprise, the productivity more or less stabilized. In fact, when the lighting was reduced to such an extent, it was almost equal to the moonlight as such, even then, you know, production was almost stable, same. So, they found that, that apart from the working conditions, apart from the pay packet and all that, there is something else, you know, which guides the behavior of the employees having its impact on productivity. Now, McGregor was a first management scientist who drawn the attention of the management students to the models of what you call organizational behavior as such. As we rightly said it earlier, the managers tend to act the way they think. The US elections we have seen, the people's fear about the terrorism made them to what you call vote for Bush as such. Now, what set of assumptions can we make? What set of assumptions managers do they make? Managers normally make two kinds of assumptions. One is what we call X theory, McGregor's. The third one, second one is what we call Y theory. What is the X theory? 
X 3 is theory they believe that employees are basically lazy, they lack motivation, they do not take responsibility and always they need to be coerced, guided, threatened to get the required you know what you call output as such. Now, in contrast to this X theory, we have Y theory which is nothing but human relations approach or human relations opinion about the employees. In other words, a more positive approach about the employees as such. The Y theory looks at the employees that they are basically not lazy, they do not lack motivation, they do not lack responsibility. Given a chance in the, in the sense, if proper environment is provided, they are willing to work. I think in this case, we can take the example of syndicate bank. Couple of years back, the government of India almost decided to merge the syndicate bank with another nationalized bank as it was not doing well. The employees and especially with the initiative of the trade unions and the HRD department, they started an exercise of what I call identifying where the surplus manpower is there, where the shortage of manpower is there and with mere redeployment of the manpower, they could turn around. What does it show? The inference we can draw from the syndicate bank experience is that the same employees given a change in their attitude, they could contribute you know significantly to the performance of the syndicate bank. Similarly, in the state of our Andhra Pradesh, we can take the example of AP Tourism Development Corporation. Couple of years back, when before Anjane Reddy Garu, the present CMD took over, almost people has written off you know the AP Tourism Development Corporation as such. In fact, number of consultants you know by the previous government were appointed to go into the study, the functioning of AP Tourism Development Corporation and almost all of them they gave to the unanimous conclusion that it is not worth continuing as such. But look at APTDC today after Anjane Reddy took over. In fact, for number of years they have not even finalized their accounts. The same employees, the same people, but under a new man they could you know rediscover their talent or potential whatever it may be and now AP today, today, today AP Tourism Development Corporation doing extremely well. In fact, it may not be out of the place to mention here that our state government you know cites the example of AP Tourism Development Corporation as a classic case of turnaround. Now, what is that you know we observe from these experiences that of either syndicate bank or the AP Tourism Development Corporation? It is the behavior of the people. It is very, very, very difficult to predict the behavior of the employees. A satisfied employee will give his best to the organization, whereas a dissatisfied employee despite he being very good in terms of his capabilities, competencies, experiences and all that may not be you know coming forward to his best as such. So, as such it is very you know pertinent to know, interesting to know what an organization behavior which is nothing but a sum total of what I call the employees behavior as such. Now, what is a model? Because we talk of models of organization behavior, model is nothing but what we really think of you know how the real life looks like a simplified image like you know we heard about simulation model the pilots when they are get selected in the indian air force or the air force as such they are not given the training as such in the real sense as such you know putting them directly on the plane as such they are put in a simulation as such a plane which is almost grounded but they will be made to feel as if you know they are driving the real plane as such model is also like that what exactly we think, how the real life looks like the model, then what is the concept as such? Concept is the basis based on which a model is constructed. Now, how many models we have concerning the organization behavior of the uh, organization behavior? Basically, we have four models of organizational behavior. The first one is autocratic model. The basis of autocratic model is power. The management thinks that employees do not know anything, their job is only to implement the orders of the management. So, here in this autocratic model, you do not command the respect of the people, you command only the obedience of the people as such. But in some circumstances, in certain circumstances like in the case of when we are waging a war against an enemy country or some kind of that, maybe you know this kind of model you know might help. This model was more or less you know found useful uh, in, in good olden days and especially in the early days of the industrial revolution. 
Now, the second model of organization behavior is what you call custodian model. In the autocratic model, we have seen the basis is power. In the custodian model, the basis is professional managers, managers who have a progressive attitude, who have a concern for the employees, they start you know creating some facilities, providing some facility to the employees like crutch for the women employees, like lunch room. So, basis of this custodian model is the economic resources. If the company is good enough, financially sound enough, reasonably good enough, they take care about creating certain facilities you know which will go a long way in creating a feeling of security, satisfaction among the employees and people also then the, the employees they start contributing to the organization as such. The third model of organization behavior is called supportive model. In the case of autocratic model, only the subsistence needs of the employees are filled up because employee does not get any what you call chance you know to motivate himself to build up his morale as such. In the custodian model, you know some sort of security being you know provided to the employees, employee starts thinking of the organization as such. But in the case of supportive model, the basis of supportive model is leadership. The leadership believes in providing supporting environment like in the case of syndicate bank, like in the case of you know AP Dozen Development Corporation, Engineer Reddy. The people are good enough, if they are provided you know supporting good environment, they will give their best. In fact, couple of years back, the president of General Motors said that it is better to give or provide a congenial amicable work environment to the employees to give their best rather than entangling them with the achievement of the targets. So, the supportive model basically believes in providing supporting environment to the employees, so that they give their best to the organization. The last model is called collegial model. In the collegial model basically we talk of what we call team concept, team concept coming together. Now, this model first was tried in research laboratories and after having you know found it successful was used in other organizations also. In fact, this is the latest management mantra as such. You take at the Reliance or you take Microsoft, the Bill Gates in the case of uh, Microsoft and the Narayan Murthy in case of what you call uh, Infosys, they are only the visionaries, they give the direction, but the actual day to day planning of the organization, strategic planning, everything is being looked after by a team. Gone are those days when individuals they used to take decisions, they used to decide the destiny of the what you call the company or the country as such. Now, the days are of the collective mantra, the team spirit as such. This is what you know differentiate collegial model from the supportive model. We have seen in the autocratic model, basically the basis is the power. By threatening the people, by punishing the people, by using reprimands, we try to get the required output, but the employee may not give his best. And the second one we have seen, the custodian model we try to provide a feeling, a creative feeling of security in the minds of the people, so that they feel better. They are not, they do not get unnecessarily worried about the job security or the working environment as such, they start contributing as such. The third one we have seen supportive model, where we are concentrating more on providing a supportive environment as such. Here is the stage where really people you know start giving their best to the organization, they start you know thinking of the organization more than their immediate boss as such. In the last one, the collegial model we have seen the emphasis on team spirit as such. Now, a question might arise in the minds of us that we have seen having seen these four models of organization behavior that is the autocratic model, the custodian model, the supportive model and the collegian model. Now, which model to be used? Now, which model to select? having already said that managers are tend to act the way they think. In fact, most of the managerial managers actions, managerial actions are based on the theory of human behavior they hold, what sort of image they have about their employees, what sort of impressions they have of the employees, the experience of syndicate bank, the experience of AP Tools and Development Corporation goes a long way in showing us that employee may be the same. But his attitude, if today, if the organizations want to improve their efficiency or their efficacy, because the three virtue words of survival today being the quality, the cost and service. And unless until we realize the importance of human resource and especially the behavior, because 
the human being as typical you know resource compared to other resources like machine material and as such he is no more an appendage of machine like the tailor used to think he is he has a bundle of feelings emotions so unless until we are able to judge their behavior motivate their behavior we are not able to, we won't be able to guide their productive energies or creative energies for the fulfillment of our national objective as such so before we decide which model to use probably the philosophy of the management the vision statement of the organization the mission statement of the organization what sort of feelings the managers they have about their employees all these factors have to be te- taken into account before deciding which model to use but we are not trying to say that a particular model will be useful you know throughout the what do you call year or throughout the period as such a particular model may be useful in a particular circumstances like let us take the example of the call centers in call centers you have a project that has to be complete in a given time maybe if we think of collegial model or the supportive model we may not be able to get the things done because there the project led leader being the leader and being having negotiated with the outside party and all that their expectation and all that he is in a right position to do that probably in that case he may not give enough room to the employees to think about or maybe he simply gives direction as such just because of this we cannot say that he is an autocratic leader as such in that particular situation the autocratic model may be quite useful similarly now we let us think of what i call the custodian model now gone are those days we said that this autocratic model was mostly used in the good olden days in the early days of the industrial revolution now the attitudes of about the people are changing changes are taking place not only at the national level at the international level no no more we can stay aloof from the outside world as such in fact we started you know treating everything as a global village as such india is not aloof from the rest of the world india is part of the global village as such so depending on the situations depending on the attitudes of the people attitudes of the vertical employees as such we have to think which model is more appropriate but having said this we can generally say that nowadays more or less the supportive models and the collegial models are the preferred now once we said it that a particular model is useful will it be the last say will it be the last word as such no we have seen that the human behavior is a very critical you know factor in the performance of the organization or in improving the what you call efficacy of the organization as such now once we agree that the human behavior is such an important factor you know guiding the destiny of the organization and the organization behavior is being nothing but a sum total of the human behavior as such time and again we should improve our systems and procedures about studying the behavior of the human beings as such now based on our understandings of the human beings that especially the employees in an organization we can always improve the models as such in a particular situation we may use autocratic model but in the same organization at another particular point of time we may use custodian model in the same organization we can even think of what you call the supportive model or the collegial model as such in other words we cannot generally you know prescribe that a particular model will be useful to the, to the organization throughout the time as such it's like you know applying the marxism like straight jacket to all the countries as such we have seen the marxism didn't succeed in all the countries as such marxism is not a dogma we know that we all know that similarly these models of organizational behavior enable the what are called the managers or the decision makers to know about the attitudes of the people how the people act react as such once they are able to understand the behavior of the employees as such they can decide the structure they can restructure orient they can reorient they can focus and refocus on the activities of the organization and see that not only the objectives of the organization or the goals of the organization are met but a synchronization take place between what the employee thinks about himself and what is good for the organization as such because in the present days and especially the days of the global village as such we can't afford to ignore the employees as such employees are so powerful so important the human resource that they can make or unmake mar or unmar you know the success of the organization as such 
when the success of the organization hinges on the human resource, it is very important, it is very crucial that time to time we keep studying, keep monitoring the attitudes of the behavior of the employees as such and come with you know different kinds of strategies, the plans of action to build up their morale and the motivation as such because ultimately as we said it the quality and the cost and the service. Now, when we talk of these three words there is a quality, cost and service as such, sometimes the customer may tolerate a poor product, but he will not tolerate the service. Now, once uh, the customer feels that the customer service is lacking, people may not come to this. Now, let us take the example of AP State Financial Corporation. Couple of years back before this LPG was set in motion, they used to set you know comfortably in their chairs and wait for the business to come. Now, gone are those days. Now, the competition has set in. The APSFC is facing competition not only from the commercial banks, from other financial institutions, leasing companies, higher purchase companies and all that. Now, in order to face this competition from these commercial banks including SIDB, what the APSFC has done? They have come up with a unique program called one day entrepreneur awareness seminar program as such. What is this one day entrepreneur awareness program? By this program, the corporation was taking the service to the doorstep of the customer. How exactly this is being done? By taking the, their employees into confidence, by impressing on their employees that the need of the hour is go to the people and offer the service at the doorstep. At the venue itself, they started giving in principle approvals to the applications received with the complete details as such. Apart from giving the in principle approval for the applications received with complete details, they also started guiding the entrepreneurs in choosing a project, in filling up the what you call the application form as such. Maybe a couple of years back, I am not trying to say that they did not extend this kind of service, but maybe the magnitude was different, the level was different. So, the days of change have set in. So, the organizations have to awaken themselves. You cannot expect you know the people like Sanjay uh, Anjaneri Digaru to take over the organization as such. It is the managers who manage these organizations, they have to continuously monitor, think about the behavior of the what I call employees as such. Employees behavior is very, very, very important. He is no more an appendage of machine like the tailor, the famous you know management scientists used to think. A human being is a bundle of feelings, emotions as such. If you are able to understand his emotions, if you are able to understand his behavior, then probably half of the job is done. Because once you understand the employee's behavior and all that, then you structure, restructure your program, your actions, reactions and all that accordingly and our nation is bound to what you call turn around and will definitely excel in the as such. Now, having decided, having realized the importance of the human behavior and its you know crucial impact on the performance of the organization and as such, choosing the model you have to take various factors into consideration as we said it like the vision day statement of the organization the mission statement of the organization, the attitudes of the what you call managers, the, their behaviors and all that. Why we are saying all this that once you are able to understand their behavior pattern as such, it is not that you get always people willing to cooperate. There may be some people, but given time and necessary training and all that, once you make the people to understand the necessity to change, necessity to adapt, I am sure majority of the employees, the experience of syndicate bank has shown us, the experience of what I call uh, AP Tools and Development Corporation has shown, people are basically good, people have pay or positive. I am not saying definitely in every organization you may find couple of black sheep as such, but we can simply ignore them. Not that, not, I am not trying to say that we should not what I call try to correct them as such, but if we can change the attitude, the mindset of majority of the employees by constantly monitoring and coming up with you know, appropriate strategies as such, definitely we can improve the efficiency or the what you call effectivity of the organization as such. In the, in the era of globalization, the global village days, the LPG days as such, no organization can afford to ignore the importance of the employee and the employee's behavior, because the sum total of employee's behavior, your, your organizational behavior. You may think of any creative, dynamic, innovative situations, you know, solutions like outsourcing, downsizing, 
redeployment, reorientation, but unless and until we are able to change the attitude of the employees, thereby changing the behavior of the employees, the way the engineering has done in AP Tourism Development Corporation, the way the what you call trade union and the HRD people could do it in the case of the syndicate bank, the way the Narayan Murthy is you know getting the things done in Infosys, there is ample evidence you know nowadays that where there is a will, there is a way. In fact, the famous saying goes, give me a fish, I eat for the day, teach me to fish, I eat for the life. The employee once joins an organization, he knows that it is the home. Most of his active time, about 8 to 10 hours is spent in the organization as such. Once he is able to, he is, he is, main, he is impressed to understand that his growth is linked to the growth of the organization, his welfare is linked to the welfare of the organization and all that and definitely the employees will definitely give their best, but the organizations and especially the managers who are manning these organizations like Naranamurthis or Engineeredis, like any other what you call like Bill, um, uh, Bill Gates of Microsoft and all that, their greatness lies because they understand the importance of their employees, their behavior as such. If the managers captaining these organizations, captaining their industries and all that, if they are able to monitor you know, the behavior of the employees and take necessary steps to change, to bring the required change in their behavior, definitely the employees will give their best to the organization growth and uh, even in, despite you know what you call witnessing the days of LPG, liberalization, privatization and the globalization, no organization can you know what you call, I mean will be what you call suffering in its pursuit for excellence as such. So, um, from these four models, the autocratic model, the custodian model, supportive model and the collegial model, depending on the situation of the organization, depending on the needs of the employees, whether the employees are operating at the subsistence level or at the what you call self uh, acclimatation level, self actualization level or the supportive level, the management of the organization should you know think and take appropriate you know policies, because the behavior of the employees is very important. It can either contribute to the success of the organization, it can even you know uh, what you call uh, play doom to the organization as such. So, as such the employees behavior you know needs to be monitored and the appropriate model depending on the ground realities and the vision mission statement has to be decided and applied. Mm -hmm.